Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will model the differential protection for a transmission line. Usually, a distance relay is used for the protection of transmission line, but in our case, we are designing this in a lab so we can uh, easily design this by using differential uh, protection. More relay is very difficult to design in, uh, in a MATLAB simulation. I will try to put another video that will show how you will design a distance relay in the description later. Okay, so I have already built this model. I will just click each model and uh, will show the parameters in order to rebuild it easily. So this is a three phase generator and the parameter are 25 VRMS and 50 frequency of hertz and the rest of parameter are I assume as it is. And for the load flow, I assume that it is a swing type generator. Okay, now on, I'm using two phase, uh, three phase block, three phase breakers. One is this one and one is this one. Just double click on this and make sure to make it external and select the close type and then press OK. Then I'm using two VI measurement block. The one is with uh, this one and the second one is also the same with with, uh, with the parameters by using by default. And I'm using these two transmission lines. The parameter is 100 kilometer and the frequency is 50 and the rest of perimeter I kept is by default. Okay. In order to uh, generate my fault, I will use three fault phase fault. So this is how it will look like when you double click on this parameter. Just make sure to click on this external and click click OK. Do not ch need to change any other parameters. And for the uh, for the fault to generate, you can use step generator or step generator as well. So double click on this and I put the time values like this. And before the inserting of uh, fault or its value or zero, I will in uh, insert fault later. Okay, I'm using this DMAX for DMAX that will sh uh, uh, show me the phase to phase voltage or phase to phase current. So, for example, I'm just clicking this, I'm just using this scope for the uh, VABC voltage, and the second one is for the current. Now, let's go to the logic of the differential rotation that is exactly the same that I model for the transformer. The one input I'm getting before the, this fault generator. That is, I am getting from this part, and the second is from the current of this one. So one is uh, uh, at point number one, and the second one is at point number two. And the output of this is connected with the circuit breakers. Double click on this. Okay, this is my input number one, and this is my input number two. I will just find out the difference of these two inputs, or you can say the currents. Then I will take this uh, modulus in order to converted the negative value to the plus one and I will then compare with my pickup value for example I am suppose that my pickup value is two you can calculate your pickup value according to your requirements and then I am using the SR flip flop in order to get the initial state for the Q that it is zero if the fault is not inserted and when the fault is there like the com comparator value is greater than two it will show up a one value and it, that will speed up the this logical operator AND gate and after that I am double and I am converting this because it is a boolean I need to convert it to another data type that is uh, double and make sure you also change this to the boolean as well otherwise your program will not work. So all done now just uh, run this ok this is my simulation before inserting any fault so I am just clicking on the voltage this is my voltage now you will get all these three uh, graphs in a single input go to the uh, view layout configuration keep it 3 and just select 3 ok you will get your result like this ok now these are my the current values these are my the voltage value after the fault inserted are the at the receiving end of the transmission line and this is the current at the receiving end of my transmission line now suppose that I want to generate a fault and the generation of fault instant at time 0.02 my fault will generate at a time of 0.02 and will elevate and it will continue or will still there at a time of 0.1216 after that my fault will be removed so click ok now just run again this now I will show I will check my result at the second scope because I fall I insert the fault after the first circuit breaker so the input at this point is going to this relay and output and after the fault is given to this uh, input both of these will compare if the both these values are not same then it will generate a high signal and it will operate this circuit breaker so now let's see what 
my voltage values are double click on this here it is as it's seen at a time of 0 0.2 0 0.02 the fault is generated and it still there at a time of 0 0.16 and this uh, disturbance is because because of the rl nature of the transmission line so this was a simple tutorial how you will model a uh, differential protection for the transmission line thank you so much